Tonight, I'm gonna show you how to make vegan Twix bars. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. I've never made a vegan treat in the candy kitchen, but tonight, that changes. Here's why. A while back, I made a Twix bar that weighed over three pounds. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> In the comments for that video, one of our faithful compadres said that before she went vegan, Twix was one of her favorite candy bars. That's reason number one. Reason number two is that I'll be taking some treats with me to a dental appointment next week, as one does. And one of the people in the office is a vegetarian. So because I hate leaving people out, tonight we go vegan. The recipe is one that I found on the Loving It Vegan website, which I've linked in the description. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own vegan Twix bars, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, I used one half cup of all-purpose flour, one eighth cup of white granulated sugar, one eighth teaspoon of salt, one quarter cup of vegan butter, one quarter cup of melted coconut butter, one quarter cup of maple syrup, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one half teaspoon of coconut oil, and one and an eighth cups of vegan milk chocolate chips. I decided to use milk chocolate because that's what the OG Twix uses. I found one that uses rice milk instead of dairy milk, so I thought I'd give it a try. I also used a small baking pan, some parchment paper, a sieve, a mixing bowl, a knife to spread the caramel, Note the cute little croissant handle, a cutting board, and a couple of precision dipping tools. Okay, let's make some candy. Set your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Line the baking pan with parchment paper and set it aside. Sift the flour into a mixing bowl. Add the sugar and salt. Add the vegan butter and mix it in with your fingers until it forms into a dough. Press the dough evenly into the baking pan. Pierce the dough with a fork to keep it from bubbling up. Bake it for about 20 minutes or until it's lightly browned on top. Allow it to cool, then cut it into whatever size pieces you'd like. Combine the melted coconut butter, maple syrup, and vanilla. Spread it evenly over the shortbread and place the pieces on a lined cutting board. Place 
place the cutting board in the refrigerator until the caramel firms up. Add the coconut oil to the chocolate chips, then melt them in the microwave, stirring every 30 seconds until they're completely melted. Dip a bar into the chocolate, let the excess drain, and return it to the lined cutting board. Repeat with the remaining pieces and place them in the refrigerator until the chocolate is set. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slanchava! This is actually way better than I expected. Let me start with the part of the recipe that didn't work. The chocolate never really set. If left out at room temperature, it's soft and sticky. I don't think it's a feature of the chocolate itself. It may just need less oil. Plus, the weather has also been rather warm and humid, so that could affect it as well. Keeping the bars in the refrigerator solved that issue, though. Straight from the fridge, the chocolate's snappy, the shortbread's crispy, and the caramel's creamy. Flavor-wise, the chocolate tastes great, although it is a little darker than I expected from something labeled as milk chocolate. If I made this again, I'd probably use semi-sweet chocolate, which is already vegan and is easier to access. I found the caramel quite interesting. By itself, the coconut butter has a very strong coconut flavor, as one would expect, but in the recipe, that flavor is totally subsumed by the chocolate and shortbread, leaving behind something quite close to actual caramel. Finally, the homemade shortbread bangs exactly as much as I expected it to. It's amazing. All told, if you're looking for a tasty treat that fits the vegan lifestyle, you really ought to try these. I found that one that used meat no meat no meat no. Let me start with the part of the recipe. The homemade shortbread bangs exactly as much as I expected it to. Doggone. <laughs>